Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's draw a dinosaur and this time we're going to draw the T-Rex. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this T-Rex. Um, I'm just going to concentrate on the, um, the front of the body. Just, you know, just and kind of skip the tail because I kind of want to fit the whole, you know, more of it on this piece of paper. So whenever you draw anything like this, um, just kind of block things out. So I'm going to block it. Let's just say this is kind of like the, the body. I'm just going to do a real rough. You know, this little egg shape this is gonna be the whole body okay, and then this is and we start dividing up the area also so we can say this is like where the where its thighs are right for the upper part of his leg and then this can this is gonna come down like this let's say um, this I see a lump here you know like kind of like his I guess buttocks area <laughs> for lack of a better terminology okay and then we can start from here and then we can go here and here's let's say here's your neck and then we can block in its head right around here let's see how high is it we can measure the angle kind of like kind of like this part goes up pretty high and then here's his mouth okay let's see just kind of rough in you know some of the features so it's just kind of like uh you know like when you when you draw anything you just kind of want to you know, get the basic shapes first, and then you can, you know, kind of concentrate on, on the little details. So like the hands and stuff, right? Like his arm is like right around here. There's one here, and there's another one in the back here. I, I see this little bulge right here, right? That's where his arm's coming out. So I can actually just draw like a little line just to represent that, that arm right now. And then we can come in and let's draw the tummy area a little bit right here. All right, let's see, and then the neck, jaw. Again, I'm going back up, just kind of jumping all over the place a little bit. And then his face is kind of like, well, here's a jaw. All right, let me make sure this is in camera. All right, so let's just start from the top, <laughs> actually. Why, why try to do reference points on the bottom when we can do it from the top? All right, so here's the eye, the little eye socket right here. So I come down, let's see, his mouth, his upper jaw. I know it's curving, so, but you see, see I, just, I just made like a little line there, just, just for quick reference. Okay, and then this thing comes down. Okay, do you see this shape right here, this line coming out from his, uh, from his eye socket right here, kind of comes down a little bit, and here's his jaw coming down. Okay, here's his lower jaw. Okay, and then at the angle, I'm gonna just kind of see the angle of the, how far it comes down. So it's kind of like this. And then for the mouth, um, the, the lower jaw, we gotta make sure that, you know, when it closes, it kind of meets up with the, with the top, right? So we need to make sure there's this nice curvature here because, you know, if you, that way, you know, you don't end up drawing it too far or, or too close up. So that's one way of trying to measure these things. So this meets up here. This meets up here, it's gonna be like this. Let's see, lower jaw, yeah, probably back here a little bit more. I knew something was off. The neckline here coming down. This arm right here. But let's let's skip the arm. Let's let's go down to uh well, let's just go up here actually. So there's a hump here. And then here's the other hump on the back, and here's his leg. And then this goes straight back to the tail. I'm not just gonna skip the tail because there's not much interesting things about it. Um, you can probably draw that on your own if you want. So here is his ankle. Well, actually, this would be his knee. So, all right, let's say so it's the upper leg. Okay, and then his lower leg here. All right, make sure I'm in frame. A lower leg here coming down. Here are his toes, three of them. One, two, three. So, so when you join a toe, you can draw. Yeah, just kind of rough it in. It's not too difficult. Yeah, we're trying to find an easy way of doing it. But normally, I mean, you probably want to do the middle one first because it's the biggest one. And then once you have the big that one, then you know you can you can work on the other ones. Like the ones on the ends right here, I mean, those, those you do kind of last because it's behind stuff. So 
another thing is, you see, I haven't even touched the, the other leg yet because it's not important, right? It's like this leg is much more important. And once we have this leg, okay, let's, let's do the tummy area right here. So once we have this leg, I mean, the other leg is easy. Then it's just kind of like, you know, seeing, okay, I can see that his knees right here and it's coming down here. Like from, let's see, you see from, from the, from this arc here and from the middle, that's where it goes out back. And then let's see, it's going to come down. It's going to meet up right around, touch the floor right around there. Okay, and then we just draw that. So, you know, once you have the front, then you can do the, the, the back legs. And then there's a little bump here. And then it goes back to the tail. Okay, so that's how we can rough things in. Now we can, now we can do back, um, let me go back to the arm. This is a really small, small little arm. So here, let's see, kind of tucks in, comes down right around here. And then this, there's, again, the big one first, right? Big one, and then the little guy, little hook right there. Really odd looking arms. Okay, and then this one, and then now we can do the back one. So you're coming down here, here, and then let's see what's going on here. So it might be a little bit hard to see, but a little hook here, and then another hook here, something like that. Again, it's it's very small detail, so that's why I was it's kind of hard for me to see because I'm I'm still trying to see the overall big picture here. So okay, so let's move on. Let's see where should we go. All right, let's let's go back to the head. Let's make this a little bit better. And then the fun part is actually going to be shading this thing. This eye. So this eye socket's dark. And then this eyeball right in there. So let's, let's do a little bit more in the mouth so we can kind of get that landmarks in. So it's teeth. We're not going to draw his teeth, obviously. Too much little detail for now. Comes down. Then this other part, his tongue. All right, then his other teeth. We can do that later. Okay. So just like that, you know, I kind of roughed it in. Uh, I think it's fairly close. I mean, it's okay if it isn't. So let's start shading. I mean, that's that's the fun part. Uh, let's see, where should we start? All right, let's start on the leg. I, I tend to like to work on the on the on the left side first. So, all right, so. Now I am using a 6B, so it's very soft. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna try to see the structure as best as I can. And I know it's a little bit difficult because the, the, the lighting on this is relatively flat. But, okay, so, but underneath the, behind the leg right here is dark. So this is kind of like a very nice anchoring point for your drawing. So you can have this nice dark area to start from. And then let's say, okay, there's this, I'm seeing this bulge here, so I'm, I'm just gonna try to exaggerate it a little bit so I can, you know, show the shape. Because the lighting is so flat. I'm trying to see that the, the, um, the structure of this thing. So it looks like this thing sinks in. It looks like some, yeah, it must be the ribs. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back down. Let's see, this part is darker here. But it, you know, like this right here is darker actually is because I think is because of his pattern, you know, his, his texture on his skin. So it kind of throws you off a little bit. But let's just continue on with the body. So this part underneath is dark. So this is important because once we make this dark, you know, the leg, you see how the leg is just popping right out. And that's the really cool part about it. It's a nice play with light and dark and contrast. What is dark recedes and uh, anything that's light tends to feel like it's coming forward. It's a very important concept. All right. I think I might have drawn his arms a little bit too big, but let's just go with it. So there's some folds in here. Uh, again, little details. Let's see. Yeah, I think I drawn his arms too big, but let's just go with it because it's not, it's not that important. Okay, if things are off, let's just try to get the good shading here. 
I'm kind of having a little bit trouble trying to uh, see the muscular structure of this so I can see is this neck here this is darker here some veins all right this whole area kind of this is dark right here this is arms coming forward there's a little bulge here so let's just skip the little details right now okay this is darker there's a lot of circular lines and then there's a lot of little veiny stuff going on here so this part, whole part is a little bit darker because it is, you know, in the shade. And then let's see some crazy vein lines here. And I'm just drawing that in just so I can have some more reference points. Okay. So I know it looks really ugly, the, the, those lines, but I can clean that up later. All right. So let's, let's, yeah, let's do the face. Looks like it's probably more interesting part. All right, there's, so there's a lot of little things, right? It's, I'm, I'm looking at this and kind of like, what, what do I tackle first? And I like to just go in and hit the dark areas first. That way you kind of loosen up a little bit, gets you, you know, kind of uh, in a sketchy mode. Okay, so this sinks in, this is dark, the dark. And I'm trying to see things in, in patches, kind of simplify things so you can start shading them. But there's a lot of little things on this, on this T-Rex, so I'm trying to ignore the little details and just kind of concentrate on the big stuff. So I'm going to draw in those lines, outline the shape a little bit better. Now this part here, again, let's make that darker. And my pencil is really dull right now, which is good for shading, but it's not good for detail, so... This part here, so we can make that darker. This is under, so this is dark. Here is his inside of mouth, that's dark. Okay, so I'm just kind of going along and trying to hit those areas. This is dark, this eye needs to be even darker. Okay, let's see. Jaw here, this part is darker, needs to bring out the jaw. A little bit of shading. Then lower jaw, it's just tongue, darker. Some kind of texturing, so I try to let the let my strokes to do the texturing. A little harder here. Okay. I think it's kind of coming along finally. Just a lot of little things. Let's see, there's a pretty nasty fold here. I have to get that. So it's pretty quick and dirty. But if I just keep going like this, you know, you can see that, you know, slowly, it's a very, you know, it's just things start to develop. And as I shade more and more, I'll start to see little things and I can go in more. So it just, it's a process, you know, it just, it takes time. And at the beginning, usually it doesn't look as good, you know, because it's just, you don't have a lot of stuff going on and the shading is bad and it's just very sparse. If you look at this, how sparse it is, you know, but you see this part, I'm kind of tightening in a little bit and getting a lot more little detail. I'm trying to turn my pencil, turning my pencil a little bit so I can get a little bit more um, sharpness and so I can shade a little bit you know more details so this is just a matter of details some shading shading more a little more texturing maybe I just concentrate on this part a little bit more so I'm gonna show you how it looks as we keep pushing it further. It's a lot of little texturing. So with the six speed, the nice thing about it, it's nice and broad, you know, so it's like little texturing is actually very, 
uh, you can actually do it fairly quickly. Um, but we'll save that for the last step. Okay, this part is darker here. Now I'm seeing a lot more little subtleties, which is good. Okay. So I'll finish this uh, off camera so we can, so I don't have to talk as much. My throat is kind of giving out on me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just, it's just more of this kind of shading. I'm back and here is the final drawing for this T-Rex and I just kind of sharpened up the my 6B pencil and just went in you know a little bit more detail overall and I, I think I show you uh, most of it on with the speed drawing so a lot of it, the drawing is actually just trying to uh, figure out where the musculature is and try to shade that because you know the drawing itself is I mean the, the reference itself is kind of flat and a lot of it's just a lot of texturing which I don't really care to put too much of it because um, it just takes too much time. So I'm just trying to find, you know, where the musculature is and just try to shade it and make it, you know, interesting so that you can start feeling the form. So, um, yeah, this was actually a lot of fun to do. A um, couple of things of note, like this hind leg right here, you see how it is kind of uh, very loose, you know, not, not a lot of detail. And it's because, again, it's kind of the back leg, you know, by making uh, less detail here, you know, we, we tend to focus more on this leg, so which is the more important leg. So, you know, little things like that, those are the kind of artistic expression to help you focus, you know, your eye onto, you know, what, what, you, want to, what, what you want the viewer to see the most, and which is obviously the head and, and this whole body area. So, yeah, overall, it's a lot of fun to do, you know, this kind of stuff. You can be a little bit dirty, messy, and it still kind of works. So, just uh, give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.